Hi, my name's Emma. I'm the School and Youth Programs Manager at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art. And I'm here today to talk about daily rituals. So from Mason Curry's book, we've learned all about artists throughout history, their routines and habits. And today I wanna to focus on the habits related to sleep. Sleep is a really important part of our days, a really important part of our nights. And so um, as we look into the habits, routines, and schedules of artists, we can get insight into uh, what makes creative people feel rested and ready to work. There are examples throughout this book that get us thinking about how sleep can um, really help your creative practice. For some people, that is really extreme. Um, Buckminster Fuller was an architect and designer, and in this book, they talk about how his experiments with high-frequency sleep or sleeping for just a short 30-minute nap every six hours helped him feel productive and would let him go on and um, be creative and lecture for hours on end. What rituals do you have around sleep. Maybe um, you have some kind of sleep hygiene habits about not having screen time before bed or not eating before bed that can help you feel balanced. Um, Margaret Mead, an anthropologist, would wake up at five every single morning, um, and that helped her creative habits of being able to write 1,000 words before breakfast. I also love learning about Haruki Murakami, the author, uh, talking about how he would decline social events in the evenings because it was so important for him to get sleep between 9 p.m. and 4 a.m. each day. Uh, whatever your daily rituals are around sleep, um, we'll hope that you'll think about how that helps you be creative and join us next time for BMA's Art in Action from Home.